Hey, Queens County, we're zooming around one more time. And today we have special guests from Chesapeake College. It's the Peak Players and their director because they're doing a radio play. Yeah, that's cool, right? We can't have drama on the stage, but we can still have drama in our lives. And who better to bring that to us than the Peak Players? So today we are joined by Rob, the director. We also have Noah, we have Daniel, we have Sean and Kara. We have lots of faces on our screen. And guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us, Bruce. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, so so Rob, we're going to get to your students. We're going to let them do all the talking. Yes. But can you tell me about uh, what this semester is doing and why we're doing a radio play? Uh, yeah, so um, just before spring break, uh, the college had made the decision that we were going to extend the break and hope that we could get back. But uh, as everyone in America now knows, we did not come back. Uh, <laughs> the news of Chesapeake College Wait, not returning. News. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spread around the globe. Oh, Chesapeake's not back? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, um, that's right. So, uh, so I've I have an acting and improvisation class that I teach, um, which has been the most difficult to port to the online universe because my students are supposed to, you know, roll around on the floor and you know interact with each other live in person on stage to create original stuff. Uh, so the solution that I came up with for this, uh, speaking because we can't do a spring show either, we always we do a show every semester, is that the this improv class uh, would work with one of my other classes to begin to develop an original sound play uh, using found sound. Um, so basically uh, recording uh, like Blair Witch Project, going around and recording themselves uh, for one reason or another using whatever device they have. And then we're going to assemble uh, a couple of, of episodes of a radio play. That's so awesome. So Daniel, I know you reached out to me. Can you tell us what the play is and what we're getting ourselves into? So the play is based around this unknown ranch and the unknown creatures slash humans that live in it. Uh, it's going to be split up into two parts. We have one episode that's mainly based in speculation. We have various parties played by uh, most of the people that you see on the screen here. And uh, they will be speculating and trying to find out what's in there, why they care about it, why you should probably care about the strange things that happen inside this ranch. And on our second episode, we are going to dreadfully find out what is inside of this ranch, and each party will be affected in various dramatic ways. That's so cool. All right, so Kara, what is the play called, and when are we going to get to hear it? Um, the play is called Miasma. Did I pronounce that right? Miasma. Miasma, okay. <laughs> so the play is called Miasma, and uh, it's basically kind of, since we are kind of in a time of the plague um it was this whole thing back in the time of the uh plague that you know people thought that they could catch this thing by smells there's not you know you're not quite sure how, what's going on with the plague um so we're kind of like in that same time now with the quarantine so it kind of plays into everyday life as uh you know kind of just being quarantined on our own and, and not really knowing what's going on That's right the great. creatures on our ranch are have been quarantined off from the rest of yes of the thank you rob <laughs> <laughs> their perspective uh and it's going to be april 30th bruce that we dropped the first episode um and that's going to be on chesapeake's website uh chesapeake.edu slash radio play awesome thank you guys so we also have sean here we have sean and noah i'm going to kick it to sean first sean what's it like doing a radio play now instead of doing an actual theatrical performance on stage it's very 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 different from what i've ever really done before uh it's like trying to think about how you want to act and how you want to do things, but you can't exactly be on stage to do it. So you're doing it all with your voice, your inflections, how you talk, how you speak. And it's all basically put through imagination and what we devise and what we bring forth from one another. So it's very interesting. It's also cool to see how we develop each other's roles uh, as we go through all the devising that we've been doing. So for instance, I'm an employee on the ranch, uh, sorry, an employee on the ranch, and Dan is a <laughs> person who's going to be breaking into the ranch, a teenager. I also work along with Noah, and it's, it's just very, it's very interesting because it's not physical interaction, and you have to get used to that. Right. So Noah, what's it like being able, like, how do you interact? How do you learn what the other person's doing if you guys are in the same room? So basically... We have these video conferences twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday, and it is just not the same. I don't want to say <laughs> it's disappointing. It's not a 
I don't want to say it's disappointing, but when you can't be in the same, you know, personal space as anybody else, and in a class time we would be touching each other or, you know, running all around, rolling around <laughs> to really bring out that core energy to theorize and bring out some sort of dialogue and all the story, it's very limiting. But we're slowly making it work, I think. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's got to be completely different from anything you guys have ever done before. So who actually would, came up with the idea, let's do the radio play? Uh, I'm going to credit Herb Ziegler, a faculty member on campus who I work with. Yes, <laughs> Who's an actor. I love uh, Herb getting a mention. Yeah. He's, uh, he's been going around trying to convince, I think, some of the other theaters on the shore to do this. And uh, he mentioned it to me. And, and uh, I have a podcast that I do with a lot of my students on campus, including Sean and Dan. And uh, I said, well, you know, this is easy enough for me. I, I already know how to work all the uh, audio editing and, and stuff. It's just a matter of now teaching all my students how to use the technology and record themselves and get their voices into a place where they can get it to me. But as Noah said, we don't, we're not able to roll around on the floor and do the things we usually do. Uh, so uh, this is what we're doing instead, is learning how to use the technology and try to use technology to our benefit to create the interactions that we otherwise would have had in person. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. All right, Dan, I'm gonna go back to you one more time. I'm gonna let you do the hard sell. Let's get people to your show and <laughs> them listening. Give it to me, Daniel. So for one what else is there to do right now <laughs> i mean seriously there's enough on netflix and there's enough on the television that i'm sure you're all bored of it by now we've seen enough ghost hunters we've seen enough you know cryptid hunters now let's listen to some interesting stuff uh there's a lot of really dynamic uh interactions that will happen here um, there's a lot of really hilarious characters. Uh, my character, for example, is a uh, cowardly paranormal investigator who talks the talk but has a difficult time walking the walk. Um, it'll be hilarious and goofy and a little bit spooky. And if you're not listening to it, then enjoy just watching the next season of the show that'll be waiting for you when this is all done. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys, I, I have you all here. Before I let you go, just quick, it could be a one-word answer, but I want to know what you guys miss the most as you're stuck at home, you don't get to be around the, the rest of the theater group. So I'm going to start with Sean. Sean, the one thing you miss the most? Interactivity. <laughs> I, I, all right, Kara? I, um, I miss Rob's jokes. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> But, but really what she's saying, Rob, is you're not as funny. Not as funny over the internet. <laughs> yeah. There's just a lot more going on when, when we're in the classroom and there's a lot of like funny things going on. And, you know, when, when you're looking from a distance, it's not quite the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. All right, Noah, one thing you missed. Uh, I miss, like I said before, all the devising and all the core energy that comes to making an idea. Now, now we're just like, okay, Think of it like that. We don't have the same process together to yeah. come up with any dialogue or any idea. Right, right, right. It's hard to bounce off of off of a screen. Mm -hmm. All right, Daniel. One thing you missed. Uh, I'll be honest, Bruce. Photography is a little difficult when you're stuck in the same room all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but look at that light box you got behind you. That thing's great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rob. Your last one thing you miss. I miss collaborating with everybody together. Um, we do get to keep collaborating, but it's, as Noah said, it's, it's just not the same. The, the live interaction keeps things quick and fresh and, and right in the moment. So it's, it's harder. It's harder to collaborate now. That's right. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you off the hook. I want to thank you all for joining me. It was fun talking with you all. I miss going to the college and seeing you guys and promoting the plays, but this is a great thing now. You can hear their radio play, Miasma. It's on April 30th. The first episode drops. We'll get you the link right here where you can go and listen to this amazing show. Then they'll drop episode two after your ears are like, I need more. So check it out soon. It's a great play. You're going to have fun listening to it while you're at home, not watching the next season of Supernatural. <laughs>